Welcome to Phil TV This Week. I'm Katherine O'Neill Dunham reporting on January 13th, 2017, and these are the top philanthropy headlines we're following this week. In philanthropy news, the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation will give a $3 million grant to the San Francisco-based Wikimedia Foundation to make freely licensed images accessible and reusable across the internet. The grant will support Wikimedia community efforts to enable the addition of structured data to the more than 35 million freely licensed media files in Wikimedia Commons, making it easier for people and institutions to share, access, and reuse high-quality and free educational content across the web. Read more at Philanthropy News Digest. The New York Women's Foundation, Novo, and 15 other Philanthropy New York members are supporting leadership of young women of color with $2.1 million. The first of its kind in the United States, the fund is also unique in its specific mission to foster sustained structural change that will transform the lives of young women of color, breaking generational cycles of poverty, abuse, and disinvestment. Read more at the New York Philanthropist. Atlantic Philanthropies' Chuck Feeney has announced he is giving away the last of his fortune. Last month, Mr. Feeney and Atlantic completed the sprint and made a final grant, $7 million, to Cornell University to support students doing community service work. He had officially emptied his pockets, meeting his aspiration of giving while living. Altogether, he had contributed $8 billion to his philanthropies, which have supported higher education, public health, human rights, and scientific research. Read more at the New York Times. In this week's Insight section, check out two opinion pieces by Philanthropy New York members. Kevin Jennings, Executive Director of the Arcus Foundation, writes, Unlike government, business, and civil society, foundation executives face relatively little outside pressure to achieve impact. They are free to fail with no external consequences. The second piece is by Michelle Kumi Bear at the New York Community Trust. She asks, how do we get the city to more deeply embrace the values of cultural equity and enshrine those values in the plan? She suggests ways New York can take steps towards more equitable cultural policy in 2017 by highlighting lessons from Seattle and Nashville. Read both insights columns at the New York Philanthropist. Thank you for joining us on Phil TV This Week. Get all the week's news by subscribing to the New York Philanthropist. It's free and delivered to your inbox every day.